Hey guys, it is me, Life Simmer, and welcome to The Sims 3 Movie Stuff Overview slash Review. So, it's finally out, uh, The Sims 3 Movie Stuff. You guys have definitely heard of it on my channel. I released the second part of the trailer on here, and you guys know that I am super excited to give this to you guys and show it to you. So, uh, this is the loading screen, and I must say, I love it. I love film, acting, and stuff, so I think this is a really nice touch, and I think it's really cute. It's a good way to wrap up the stuff packs, I guess. Um, so yeah, this is the final stuff pack ever uh, for The Sims 3, so uh, let's uh, do my last stuff pack overview and go out with a bang. I don't know, but let's go ahead and jump into Create a Sim. So let's go ahead and get into the female Create a Sim items. I went ahead and filtered everything so we just get movie stuff and let's go ahead and click and get some stuff. So here is the first hair. Hair. <laughs> Here's the first hair which I actually really, 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 really like. It kind of has a custom content kind of look to it and I think, you know, based on the sim hairs that we are used to getting from EA, this is actually... An improvement and I actually really like it I can see myself using it to be honest I, I actually like it which is nice so here's it in some different colors I I kind of like it in red I don't know it's really really pretty though good job uh, let's go ahead and see uh, this crazy mess of a hair this reminds me of um, like something I would wake up to in the morning like a rat's nest on the top of my head but it's still nice you know what I mean it looks you can work with it in my opinion I feel like maybe if you have that crazy cat lady you could totally plop this on her and I kind of like it in the darker hair colors I think it looks a little bit more normal I guess um, I actually kind of like it hmm. and then they have an even even can't talk even crazier um, hair, which this one's a little bit scary, but yeah, that one's actually a, a lot scary. I actually like this one though, but that one's just a little too much. Let's go ahead and uh, check out the hat hairs. We have these little mini hats. Um, I'm pretty sure there's something kind of like this, um, in the store, so I mean, yeah, it's cool, I guess. <laughs> it looks like a little mad hatter, but the hat's really, really little. Another one of these hair thingies, but there's a feather in it. You guys can't really see it. But if you look in the mirror back there, there is a feather in there. We got a yellow one and a purple feather. So it's like the hair before, but with like one of these little cloths thingies above it. And I think that's kind of neat, you know. It's kind of cute. Maybe if my son was getting married or something, I could actually use that. Thinking out of the box, right? <laughs> Okay, what the hell is this? <laughs> what is that? I get for the whole superhero thing, but... <laughs> what? I can't, I can't. Wow, okay. This one is like Superwoman right here, or something along, uh, along that. You have the like plum bob thing in the middle, and I think this is awesome. I could actually see myself using this uh, for Halloween for maybe a creative sim or something. I don't know. I, I like that. I do. I really, really do. I like it. Here we have this hair. Uh, it looks kind of gritty if you ask me. I don't know if it's only me, but it looks very pixelated and I feel like there might be a patch for that. So hopefully. But I think it would be cute if they fixed it. Maybe for like a teenager or something? I don't know. Maybe. Another one... <laughs> another one of these hairs that are just unexplainable. Like, okay. <laughs> the hair is pretty stringy, but... I mean... Yeah. For its purpose, I guess it's nice. Um, another superhero hair. I think this hair looks a lot better than the other ones uh, that were up here. Uh, the mask is pretty different, but uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. 
Oh my goodness. I am going to go ahead and screenshot that. What? <laughs> it is so cool, but at the same time, it is so weird. You know what I mean? Like, what am I looking at? There is a brain inside of that. It's really cool, but so, like, different, I guess. Unique. Um, good job. Yeah, good job. And I guess it changes, uh, like, the color of your brain or something, like the outline bubble thingy, according to the uh, hair color that you pick, which is pretty neat, if you ask me. So let's go ahead and head into Creatism and uh, see what they have to offer. Well, we already are in Creatism. I mean, clothing. Alrighty, so for our tops, we only get one top, which is this one right here that she was already wearing. This is for like your western sims. Um, kind of reminds me of something we we could have seen, like we already kind of have from Isla, Isla Paradiso, what am I talking about? From Island Paradise, it kind of seems that way, but um, it has the western feel to it and has like gloves with it. Definitely for my western sims. Uh, reminds me of Appaloosa Plains and yeah, I like it. <laughs> it's different. So I like it. For our pants, we have the pants that go with our little western sim. I do like the fringe on the side. I think that is really, really cute. I love that. Um, Once again, I'm not thinking, you know, would my sim in my current household wear this, I'm thinking, would my sim, if I wanted to throw them in a western scene, use this? And I think they would. So, um, it's pretty neat, I mean, for that purpose. Uh, I do like the cow print down there, I think that's kind of cute. Uh, and we have some western-y, I think those are western-y, I don't even know, some skirts, and uh, that's kind of neat. So this is where we get a lot more options, is definitely in the outfits. Alrighty, so the first outfit, I think this is in the western as well. Yeah, it is definitely in the western. Okay, call me crazy, but you guys know I have a thing for pilgrims and stuff. And this kind of reminds me, you know, up here kind of pilgrimish. And I don't know, I think it's neat. I do love, 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 love how her waist is kind of cinched. I don't know. I think that's really, really cute, so I do like it. Uh, I mean, if I was to make a Western Sam, they'd probably wear something like this or something down there that I see that is definitely catching my eye. Next, we have this dress right here. Reminds me of, I don't know, something like when I was like a little kid, I used to love American dolls, and I swear this is like what the, um, the ginger one, uh, Oh, what's her name? She was my favorite. The one who was like a pilgrim. <laughs> what is my obsession with pilgrims? It seems like something, something she would wear. So I'd like it. And it reminds me of like a baby doll. So it reminds me of my childhood. This right here. Okay. I saw this in the trailer and it reminds me of the Great Gatsby. Myrtle wears something just like this. I love it. It's perfect. It is so sexy. And I just, oh, I love it. Definitely falls under the western theme. Uh, you kind of see her little stocking underneath there. I love the bows. I love everything about this outfit. I love it. I mean, oh, with that hair, it is beautiful. I freaking love it. I love it in purple. Wow. I absolutely adore it. Thank you, EA. <laughs> Here we have, like, this shackled outfit. <laughs> it looks very scary. But under the horror theme, I could definitely see it working. This dress right here, very medieval horror type of theme to it. It is really pretty, though. I definitely like how up here looks. I think it looks really, really nice. Um, it's not bad. It's not bad. For the theme, I, I do like it. I think I definitely like it, actually. I really like the top. I don't know why, but it's really catching my eye. Alrighty, so here's another outfit. It has, like, a choker up here, which, you know, is, I think is really nice. It's a nice touch. A little accessory. I love the shoulders. Really cool. Um, and the dress is kind of ragged and ripped up, which I personally think looks pretty sick. I like it. And the really 
nice detailing on her waist. I like it. Ooh, I love it in like the lace. I don't know, it's different. It's cool. Uh, this, uh, I am not a fan of. It kind of looks like, um, what's it called? The Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, I think her name's Sally or something. I don't know. The girl who's like cloth, I think, or something. I don't know. Kind of reminds me of her. I'm not a fan of it. I like the way that the dress, um, fits her body, but I'm definitely not a fan of it, personally. But I do like the way it fits her body. I just don't really like all the cutouts and stuff. Um, maybe if I could fix that, I probably would. Alright, on to my Superwoman outfit that I am head over heels with, just looking at it. It's perfect. I might just have to do a Superwoman create a sim. I love it. This is perfect. <laughs> It's perfect. I, I I love it. Enough said. This outfit reminds me of like a cheerleader or something. Uh, cute. I like it. Not as much as the other one, but I do like it. This is freaking adorable. I love this. Oh my gosh. This is something like Miley Cyrus would wear, but a step up. Like a step up in class. Like it's better than what Miley Cyrus would wear. A uh, shout out to Miley Cyrus. Just saying. I really, really like this. Kind of reminds me of a plant sim. I think it's gorgeous. I love the cutouts. I actually have leggings that kind of have cutouts like that. Like, not up there, but like on the sides like that. And I, I love them. I really like this. I like it in black a lot. It's very sexy once again. Uh, here we have another superhero costume. This one I'm not too much of a fan of. Uh, we have this superhero costume, which I, once again, am in love with. I love how on the front it looks like that, and then on the back you just get like that. Like, I don't know how to even put it. I just, I really like it. I mean, definitely uh, that one right there I think is, no, this one right here I think is my favorite actually, the one with the flowers. But this one is definitely not bad. Not bad at all. But we're going to go ahead and switch back into that. I love it. Let's see what we have for shoes. We actually get some shoes. How exciting. We get these ones, which I definitely think are very petite. I, well, petite. Does that even make sense? I don't think it does. I don't think it applies here. But these are really cute. I really, really like the bow. Definitely. I wish they were a little bit more fitted like with her body, I don't know. But we'll get that in The Sims 4, right? We have some boots right here, which are super cute. I actually like them with like a pair of jeans or something. I think those would look really nice. Um, some superhero boots. <laughs> I like them. Some more boots. Uh, these ones are more like rain boots, and I'm not really a fan of them, to be honest. And more boots right here that go underneath. Cute, cute, cute. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Do we have any accessories? Uh, I think we should. <laughs> Just kidding, we don't. Um, now, let me check if there's anything along these lines that we don't have in here. Alrighty, I checked and there is nothing. That's all we have for our female creative sim young adults. I'm going to go ahead and go into all the other ages and genders and show you guys all that cool stuff so let's get into it alrighty for your teenagers you once again get the same type of dress uh, very dolly and cute <laughs> the same shackle type of outfit once again a kind of superwoman type of outfit I love it in black and white super cute and kind of like the cheerleader outfit um, shoes, you get boots, oh, that is perfect, and the shackle boots, uh, that I, I, like, love, so, awesome, and no new tops, let's go into children, and see if they have anything, I, I hope they do, I hope they have, like, something, you know, they do, yay, we have this little dress right here, uh, which I definitely think falls under the horror theme, she looks absolutely like horrified to be in that 
It looks like it is choking her. Poor thing. I love the uh, sleeves, though. I think that was a nice touch. Um, then we have, like, this uh, superhero one piece. And it has, like, a squirrel or something with wings on it. It's different, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what to say about it. It's different. That's for sure. And we have these little boots right here that are kind of cute. Do they have any hairstyles? I don't think they do. They do! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! It is a squirrel. I think that's a squirrel. I don't even know. It has a freaking tail on the back. Can we get like a round of applause for this? I am so happy. This one doesn't have one, so you can have like a cat sim. You can make a Catwoman, but it would be like a kid, but still. I am so happy right now. Words cannot express it. Let's go ahead and check toddlers and see if they have anything. I, I really hope they do. Um, I don't think they will, though. Uh, it's not looking like they do. And they don't. Okay, so let's go ahead and head into males and see what they have. Actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and head into El Elder really quick. I cannot talk. It's pretty late at night for me. And uh, check what they have. Alrighty, let's uh, go ahead and filter this really quick. And they have the same hair as I was expecting that. Whatever. This hair actually looks kind of cool on a grandma. And the clothing, I'm... I'm expecting pretty much, you know, the same things. Uh, once again, this uh, big dress. This one right here, which is amazing on old people. I don't know. I think it looks really nice on old people. Or not old people, but elders. I love it in that color. Oh, can we not? Please, can we not? Can we not? Nope. Not even going to comment on this. Not even commenting. All right, in shoes, we have some boots, the rain boots, and um, that's all we have for females. Let's go ahead and head into males. All righty, for males, uh, let's go ahead and see what they got. No new hairs, uh, but we do got some hairs with accessories. Woo! <laughs> we have this cowboy hat. Very sexy, if you ask me. A lot of things in this uh, stuff pack are pretty sexy. Um... <laughs> But, um, I like it. It looks really cute. My little sim, you know, who will be a little equestrian sim and ride horses in Appaloosa Plains. I think this would look great. Great. <laughs> Here we have, um, what is this? What in the world? What? <laughs> no. What is this? Like, your superhero is a peacock. Oh, my God. Alrighty, the next one is, like, a freezer bunny super sim. I like this. Uh, even though it's super weird, I love freezer bunnies. I think they are sick. I just love them. They're iconic. Uh, so, uh, this is pretty cool, you know? Because <laughs> I'm a fan of freezer bunnies. We once again have this brain head. I think if I could create a whole family with just that, my life would be complete. Please, EA, make this happen. Like, I want this. Um, and if they could sell this in stores, that would be awesome too. Just saying. Here we have another little skunk cat. Very wilderness-like. I like it. Even though it's very odd. I like it. <laughs> so let's go ahead and give him, I guess, a cowboy hat. And head into clothing. No new tops. Okay. No new bottoms. But of course, some new outfits. Or else this would not be complete. Let's go ahead and see what we got. Of course, a little cowboy outfit for our western theme. That's actually really cute. Oh, for those... Okay, I didn't even mention this. I'm totally blinking. There's Western horror and um, superhero theme. So that's what movie stuff is all about. 
I like the little scarf. I think that's a nice touch. I don't know. I think that's really cute. Uh, so yeah, I don't think this is bad. Definitely for the theme, I think it's nice, you know. This is flawless. I love it. I love old things, you guys know. I think I've said it about a million times. Along with, like, pilgrimage, I also have an obsession with, like, the 1920s and 1930s. And for some reason, that is screaming, like, that time period for me. I love it. I love the long jacket, the, like, the high-waisted pants, the little chain right there. Everything about this outfit right here makes me happy. <laughs> I love it. So, thank you. This is perfect. This outfit scares me. Um, reminds me of like a clown and his pelvic area is absolutely horrifying. I mean, it's not like it's ugly or anything. It just scares me. Um, I don't know. It's still cute though and I like the, oh, I mean, it's there. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it's not bad. It isn't bad in my opinion. It's just something I personally wouldn't use. I do think, however, some people could definitely make this work in like a photo shoot or something. I don't know. I'm thinking creative here. I just, I kind of like it, but at the same time, I'm kind of scared of it. I don't know how I feel about it. I just, I don't know. It definitely is growing on me, like looking at it, but the pelvic thrust is a little scary. It's not a thrust, but it's definitely pelvic there just saying oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh I am so done I'm so done I'm so done whose idea was it to make this who thought this was needed what <laughs> who thought this was necessary I will definitely be using this though this is perfect for, like, streaming and stuff. This is... I love it. Thank you. I love it. Here we have, like, a ninja type of outfit, in my opinion. It reminds me of, like, a ninja outfit. Here is a superhero costume to go with our peacock. Peacock gang. I used to have a gang in 6th grade. Not 6th grade. 8th grade, where we would do, like, the peacock on the hands. It wasn't really a gang, but, you know... We thought we were cool because we said gang, but whatever. Um, here's like the squirrel outfit because you can see it right there. I love squirrels. I'm such a fan like whenever I see them. Like the other day, um, I was with my friend and he was like, shut the door, the squirrel might get in. I'm like, please, I'm leaving it open because I want a squirrel. Off topic completely. Freezer bunny superhero costume and enough with the pelvics. Oh my gosh, they just are jumping out. And you could also get it without the uh, freezer bunny on it, but uh, yeah. A robot type of costume, kind of, not really. Superhero, I guess. Into the future, we will get some robot stuff, I'm sure. Very techy, 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 techy is what I meant. Here we have some western cowboy boots. Uh, of course, these are a necessity. Once again, I think all the western clothing will look awesome in Appaloosa Plains. Love it. Because I love pets and I can't wait to do a LP on it. These shoes that would go with that outfit that I'm not quite sure about. Uh, these are very like mummy-like. I don't know. I feel mummy-ish when I look at them. Some boots that I love. I love these boots for my males. I think these are super cute. Definitely see myself using those. Let's go ahead and head into teenage males and see what they got. He looks like a little Indiana Jones. Is it just me that sees that? Because I think that is pretty sweet. Can't talk. Sick. So let's go ahead and head into outfits. We have uh, like the same little western outfit right here. Pretty much identical this little outfit. I kind of like it. I think it's really cool, but I don't know. I, I think I like like it so much that I'm not sure about it. I don't know. I really like it in that color, though. The little freezer bunny superhero outfit. 
awesome. Let's head into a uh, child. Check out the little hats we get. Okay, so it's pretty much unisex. I was expecting this. Uh, the unisex squirrel and cat thingies. I was expecting that. Uh, in clothing, we'll pretty much see the same thing. Like I said, we have like this uh, little outfit for our squirrels and I guess this one too. Actually, this one's for the horror theme. I thought that was like a squirrel, but it's not. There, squirrel outfit complete. In shoes, we have the same little unisex booties that I was expecting. Um, Elder, let's see what they got. Okay, like Zayn Malik, uh, Elder Sim, just saying, just saying, just saying. I know I am not a directioner. I mean, I have nothing against them. I'm just like, I think Zayn is so freaking hot. Anyways, uh, these boots right here, like the zombie ones, tell me that does not look zombie-ish. Totally does. Don't lie to me. Don't say they don't. They totally do. These boots, like superhero boots, some superhero booties, and superhero costume. You can like see a, a freaking six pack under that. If you look close enough, it's definitely there. This outfit, I don't even know what to say. And the outfit that I was like fangirling over, I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> so, that is all the creative some items, I'm pretty sure. Let's go ahead and head into um, build and buy mode and see what we get. We have three different set types. We have horror, western, and superheroes. So, let's go ahead and jump into it. So we are about to head into the saloon, a.k.a. I'm going to call it Myrtle's Saloon because I made the chick totally look like Myrtle. But uh, here is the door that came with uh, the Western uh, set and the Western Saloon sign. So if we head inside to the saloon, we have Myrtle. <laughs> and we have a bar, two little uh, chairs right here that are totally cute with their little cow print on them. Here we have a dresser. Right here we have two signs. This one is kind of like, if you can see that, kind of like off the wall. We have like a cowgirl showing all our little cow moves. Not cow moves, but our moves. <laughs> and some wanted signs, which is uh, really, really cool actually. Oops. The table that came with the western stuff, I think it's really fancy. I like it. It can be used universally, so I, I definitely like that. We have a rocking chair. Of course we're going to get a rocking chair, right? Like that. And here's the bed that came with the western set, if you guys can see this well enough. It is very, 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 very pretty. Uh, it is just gorgeous. It, I love, love, love the curtains. I just love all the detailing, so I think it is absolutely flawless. And then if we come outside of the saloon, we actually got a all-in-one bathroom right here, which is really, really cute. I like it a lot. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump into our superhero land, I guess. Alrighty, so right here we are in, I guess, the superhero slash supervillain area. Here we have a table, well, two tables actually right here. Uh, here's like one that you can see the target points and stuff, which I think is pretty neat. Over here we have, I guess, the squirrel. Actually, that's like a llama. I've been saying a squirrel this whole time, but it's actually a llama. A hand thingy, which is actually pretty cool. And it moves, so that's even cooler. Uh, the chair that goes with this table, I'm sure you can use them on both. Uh, it's pretty cool though. Actually, let me go ahead and go back to that. If you guys can see that, they have like buttons, which I think is pretty cool. Here we have a movie backdrop. Really, really, really pretty. Love like the crystal detailing and stuff. And then we have these laser doors right here. And we can set the laser color to a bunch of different colors. Flame, just so many different things. And I'm sure when we walk through them, the flame, well, not the flames, the lasers uh, disappear. But here we have a hottie with a body, right? Our little super 
superhero. Actually, she looks more like a villain, to be honest. But anyways, here we have this little costume stand, which, um, which is really cool, actually. You can set the intensities. We're going to set that to super bright. Here we just have costumes and stuff uh, on display and weapons down there and masks and costumes and I already said costumes but it's pretty cool. Here we have a dresser. You have your little handprint thingy and all that cool stuff right there. Then over here we have another dresser. Kind of cool I guess you could say. And right here is a decoration uh, just showing you know some stuff that a hero would probably or a villain would put on their wall and I think that's pretty cool. I think there's like a sexy Fiona right there from Shrek. Cool. So if we head outside, there was actually two motor vehicles that came with uh, the superhero uh, slash villain set. We have this uh, Simmobile, <laughs> uh, which is really, really cute. And then we have this little motorcycle, which I think is so cute. Reminds me of Peach from Mario, so I really like it. And then we have this laser thingy right here. Like, what is this? What even? It's really cool, though. You know, I guess uh, we can play around with that. <laughs> so let's go ahead and go into our horror land. I say horror or horror, but I know it's pronounced horror. I just say horror for some reason. So here is the two doors that I think applied. I really like them both, to be honest. Um, let's go ahead and head inside. Inside, we have this really cool, really creepy bookshelf with all these little dolls on it. It kind of reminds me of these dolls that, uh, that are actually sold. I think they're called like ugly dolls or something. They're really cool. But the bookshelf itself is actually gorgeous. Um, very cute with the sweetheart neckline thingy up there. Not neckline, but the sweetheart uh, bookshelving thingy right there. I think that's a, a nice touch. This little chair right here, which is absolutely stunning. So I definitely must give credit. And I did go ahead and decide to use the outfit. <laughs> I think I love it so much that it actually kind of awed me. Here is a uh, sofa. Really, really cute. I like it a lot. Here is a side table. And it has like a snake head coming out, I think. And the coffee table is absolutely stunning. If you guys can see that right there. It looks like something that would come with the Technophobe No More uh, from the Sims 3 store. The ends of it are swivelly and absolutely gorgeous. And there is a spider web print on the top of the glass. And I must say, I really, really like that. And I saw it and I was like, I love that. Like, automatically. Here we have the bed that came with the horror set. I said horror, not horror that time. The horror set. Horror? Horror? Horror set. The horse set, you guys. Um, <laughs> it's really pretty. It seems like something we have a lot of, though. Like, I know I have quite a few of these beds, but at the same time, I do love the dark detailing, and I, I want to use this. Here's the lights. I think they are amazing. I love the candles. I love the colorful colors, and I must say it's pretty darn cool. Alrighty, guys. That is the end of my review here. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in my gameplay, in all of that cool stuff, and I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and I will see you guys next time. So, I love you guys so much. Bye, guys.